Hello, welcome back to another Pat Report. Today is Thursday the 9th of January 2010. Hello, welcome back to another Pat Report. Today is Friday the 10th of January 2020. And for some strange reason, I said 2010 in yesterday's video, which was a mistake and not a split in the space-time continuum. On the community tab, uh, community tab chat, on the community tab on the channel, put my teeth in, um, that's all I have for you today. Please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, say stay, stay safe, look after each other and remember to film the police. of Malicious me communication where he was found guilty. But isn't it amazing, as I've said in my previous report about this, how the police love to use the public's, uh, sorry, I mean waste the public's money making or Detective Inspector Meekin sat over and identified himself, identified himself as convicted of murdering four young men by giving them overdoses of a date rape drug. Drug actions into the man into the men's death. Smoke dispute with a family member. Hope, but a spokesman, a spokesperson. He has let down his victims and his colleagues who carry out an enormous work, um, who carry out an enormous amount of good work with victims of serious offences. CPS later to refuse to, to later refuse to review. Inspector Alison Ross, Deputy Head of Cheshire, Const Cheshire Constabulary's Professional Standards Department, said, as a serving officer. Good night, all. This was an attack of epic proportions, and I don't think I've ever heard of it, such an unprovoked an unwarranted attack of this caliber. The victim was me, and the assault came from this lot. I couldn't believe the abuse my barnet was getting from you guys. Now, if I were one of these snowflakes, I might have just stamped my feet and headed off to my safe space. I don't have a safe space. But instead, I decided to confront the issue by today wearing a hat instead. So you can't make me cry again. Now back to today's reports. Sir Simi, Sir Simi, Sir Saville. <laughs> um, this is as interesting, <laughs> being a live one. Uh, but let's hope that you are all pleasantly supplied, surprised, God, I can't talk properly, that you are all pleasantly surprised that I am in fact doing a video for today's PAP reports. Dorset police volunteer with apparent dreams of becoming a fully fledged narcissist uh, police constable. Part of the Metropolitan Police's West Area Command appeared at a, at a misconduct hearing. He assaulted the boy by grabbing his clothes and using his own legs to pull him to the to pull him by the body. The charge states Dumfrieshire, Dumfrieshire, Dumfrieshire only prejudices 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 sent an image of uh, uh, sent a, an image of his penis. I am sure there are no pictures of Jimmy Savile facing the wall in Stoke Mandeville Hospital or Hitler hanging in the rack in the in the in the rack stag. After a disturbance in Dalbeatie, Dumfrieshire, Judge Rippon said it were. Judge Rippon said, "Were it not for the dinners, my name's uh, my name's Dan, and welcome back to another Pap Reports to the prolific, prolific burglar, Northampton police, Northampton police complaints." Good night, all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, in his out is. And in between us, my name's Dan, and welcome back to another PAP report. Anywhere in the world and this compensation scheme, scheme. I say, if you have nothing to hide, uh, let's try that again. I say, uh, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Three Metropolitan Police Constables have tested positive for swine flu. Uh, sorry, I mean coronavirus. Uh, Met Commissioner Dick. Yes, met, met, I don't know why that seems a bit of a tongue twister. 
<laughs> this is really hard to do with Daisy pulling faces, looking like she's going to be sick. Um, oh. Sorry, I had to cover that, otherwise you would have heard her. Right, let me get this done. Right, protecting vulnerable per protecting vulnerable persons unit. <laughs> oh, don't. oh, I am so sorry about the noise. I have um I have tiled floor, <laughs> thankfully. After admitting four counts of uh, possession to in of possession with intent to supply a case brought against two young Jesuit Jes Jesuits at Liverpool Crown Court. Daisy, please. Was held at Merseyside Police Headquarters and was chaired by Chief Constable Andy Crook. Uh, Cook, Andy Cook. Basically flexing his muscles, going, yes, I've got a 13-year-old, I'm fucking well old. Ow, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> That'll teach me. Ah, Good night, all. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, innies, outies, and in between us. My name's Dan, and welcome back to another PAP report. To be a little extreme, but... Hey ho, plod breaks the rules, plod plays, bleh, plod pays the price. Approached 41 year old Marie Dinu, who uh, at Newcastle Crown, uh, at Newcastle Central Station, had to disclose information to the Ombudsman on both the families and the wider public's concern, uh, and the wider public's confidence in policing. For example, Ferrari Press Agency reporter Amir Razavi travelled to Woodmancote after the bodies of two adults and two children were found at a house in the small for description. Is that the issue in body for press credentials? It said there is an urgent need for immediate financial and operational support for all UK news publishers, national, regional and local. Man Nazi Germany is here. He urged investigators to seize t CCTV to corroborate the accounts. Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, I just want to uh, just want to make clear where we are uh, as a force, uh, where we are in terms of the county, uh, and just talk about some of the changes which, from today, I've instructed this force to carry out. I do want to make the point, though, that my message to the police officers here is one of common sense and discretion, as I said before. So we will not, at this stage, be setting up roadblocks. We will not at this stage be starting to marshal supermarkets and checking the items in baskets and trolleys to see whether it's a legitimate, necessary item. But again, be under no illusion, if people do not heed the warnings and the pleas that I'm making today, we will start to do that. Be under no illusion, if people do not heed the warnings and the pleas that I'm making today, we will start to do that. A couple of points, uh, really. This, uh, this morning there was a number of uh, media uh, reports um, and a couple of press conferences that I did. And I think that uh, there's been a really short grab clip uh, of one of the uh, statements that I actually made, which has caused a bit of consternation, certainly on social media. And this is the bit around, you know, are we going to start uh, marshalling supermarkets and checking shopping trolleys and baskets and so on? Uh, I just want to be, and I'm going to take the unprecedented move, because I may have been clumsy in that language, so I'm going to, for absolute clarity, I'm going to make the point uh, just in a moment, but I'm going to take the unprecedented step of sharing with you uh, a brief that I sent to the force three days ago. So this is a brief that was written by me to the force three days ago, which was talking about the next steps that we would take to deal with those persistent and consistent offenders across the county. So I'll just read out some snippets, but there are five key points or four key points that I want to share with you, which should provide you absolute clarity as to where the force stands and absolutely where I stand. So the bit here is, this is the message I sent to the force to be clear the move for enforcement is targeted at those who are persistently and consistently and openly breaking the law despite several challenges by officers and PCSOs to desist from their behaviour. It is not intended to focus on those who may come to our attention by minor breaches, misunderstanding or confusion as to what activity they can and cannot do. It then goes on. 
But the points that I've reiterated within this brief, bearing in mind three days ago, uh, are the, what I am telling the force that I want them to work towards. So first point is Northamptonshire Police will not set up roadblocks. Officers and staff of Northamptonshire Police will not carry out basket or trolley searches attempting to ascertain the relevance of the items purchased. The confusion in the clip this morning, what I was trying to refer to was we may get to a stage where the purposes of somebody's journey may be questioned by an officer. Not searching trolleys and baskets, and if that confusion has existed, please let me clarify, we're not in that business. I've said that from day one. That maintains the position. Be under no illusion. If people do not heed the warnings and the pleas that I'm making today, we will start to do that. World Health Organization guidance on recording deaths is actually telling doctors to categorize deaths as COVID related, even if the patient has died from other reasons, but was infected at the time. Or, or maybe how transmission of the virus is now said to be transmitting, to be, to be transmitting between family members due to the lockdown. An email to Sefton Chief, Sefton Council's Chief, an email to Sefton Council's Chief Executive Dwayne Johnson, says Andy Mayor, says Mayor Andy Burnham. There were two officers who came inside the female officer. Uh, sorry, slip of the tongue. I mean, there were two officers who came inside. Good night, all. <laughs>